Hey guys, it's Shan from Spitfire Combos. I have TPK, the political kryptonite, here with me. What's going on, guys? Go to my channel at the political kryptonite. Feel free to leave us a uh, subscribe. Make sure you hit that uh, bell for all post notifications. And thank you for having me today. And I will link his YouTube in the description. So today we're talking about Kim Ye, mainly Kanye. Um, and again, we are the unpopular opinion. So what you've been listening to and reading about, we are going to be on the other side of things. We're looking at it with an open mind. Um, What she mean by the other side is like we ain't part of the go along get along game. You ain't gonna hear everything yes. you are hearing from all social media. Right. We are the we're unpopular. The, we're, we're the ones that be censored. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so we're gonna do this. We're gonna start with like a timeline because that's kind of important with the most recent events that have been going on. Um, so break it down really quick. Kim and Kanye met in 2002, 2003, while Kanye was recording a song with Brandy. Um, and as you know, Brandy is the sister to Ray J and Kim and Ray J, they have history, obviously. Um, they stayed friends. Uh, Kimye stayed friends until they went public with their relationship in April of 2012. And then in December of 2012, um, there was confirmation that Kim was pregnant with their first child. Um, and then in June, that's of, North, right? Yes. North. Yeah. And then in June of 2013, uh, 2013 North was born, um, October, 2013, Ye pro proposes to Kim. And then May 24th, 2014, the couple got married in Florence, Italy. Um, and then March 2015, Kim reveals they were trying for another baby but had been struggling with uh, some fertility issues. Um, but then, May of 2015, Kim announces her second pregnancy. She gave birth to their second child, Saint, in December of 2015. Then, about a year later, December 2016, reports surfaced about marital issues between the two. Um, and this happened to be right after the November 2016 concert, the infamous concert where Kanye went on a 20 minute rant on stage about Drake and DJ Khaled and Jay-Z, Beyonce, Hillary Clinton and the media and radio. Um, we're going to show a quick clip of that, but it is a 20 minute long uh, video. So we'll link the full video in the the description if you want to watch it um but yeah so let's you want to check the video let's watch that a quick clip just to get an idea right. here and then we'll talk about it all right Beyonce I was hurt I went down seven years on behalf of your hey nigga don't throw no shit while I'm talking <laughs> He's saying fuck being a celebrity, right? In my in my opinion. Yeah. He's fuck pretty much saying be real. Yeah. Don't just be what they want you to be. Right. Fuck all that, bro. I've been sitting here to give y'all my truth, even at the risk of my own life. Even at 
at the risk of my own success, my own career, I've been sent here to give y'all the truth. Jay-Z, call me, bro. You still ain't called me. Hey. Jay-Z, call me. Hey, bro. Jay-Z, I know you got killers. Please don't send them at my head. Just call me. Talk to me like a man. All right, we're going to stop that there. Um, again, this is a 20-minute rant that he went on, um, but I do just want to, like, touch base on some of the things that he said. Um, the whole Beyonce situation, apparently she said that she wouldn't perform unless she won Video of, of the Year over Kanye, um, which is kind of funny to me because he went up and did that whole Taylor Swift thing for Beyonce. Right. And, like you know, like cause that, like, I just feel like there's like a loyalty thing. And I feel like over the years, and I don't know, I watched the Kanye documentary and I feel like ever since he started, like people have really tried to like play him and make him look foolish. And I feel like he's tried, he spent his whole career trying to prove himself and he was it. I mean, he had it, but people just wanted to play him 24 seven and people were not loyal to him who he was loyal to. Hold on. But back in what you said about Taylor Sw mm -hmm. Swift, you're saying like that Beyonce should have had loyalty for him T to Kanye. because of what he did for I her. Mean, yeah. Look at. OK. But what I'm thinking about that is you got to wonder who Kanye pissed off when he did that, because, yeah, Kanye's under Jay Z, but who 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 is Taylor Swift under? You know what I mean? Like right. those are probably some elite people, you know, who probably right. got pissed by him doing that, and he, Jay Z probably was upset with him when he did that. I'm not gonna lie. Right. I mean, you yeah, see the was... look on Beyonce's face, like, oh my god, did he really? Everybody was like, oh, why did he do it? You know, they they were really upset at Kanye for that shit. Right. And there's a couple other things that he said that we obviously didn't just play, but if you watch the full video then um you know you can see these things but there was a couple things that he said that like stood out to me the most but i will say not to cut you off that i do respect kanye for doing that because um i mean if that's how he felt you know what i mean like they were shitting on beyonce then you know yeah. so be it you know i mean I, I i i ain't mad at him for doing what he did it's not like he hurt anybody you know right. so I mean, it was kind of fucked up. I felt bad for Taylor Swift. I felt bit. bad because he ruined her moment. Yeah, you know, and that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, uh, right. I'm not. I'm not. I mean, like, it was fucked up. I don't he think Beyonce that. would be like, oh, okay, I gotta be loyal to Kanye for for, for right. You know, what I'm saying that's the only thing I'm saying. Right, but maybe that's why she wouldn't do that for him. It's because right. of that certain situation. Right. But. So there was another thing he said that uh, the what there's two things that we didn't play, but you can see it in the full video. Uh, the first thing he says over and over is, hey, radio, fuck you. Um, and then he says something about how the radio plays the same bullshit music over and over. And then he actually said that there's others who deserve praise who are better than most of the artists that you hear on the radio. And then he goes on to name Kid Cudi, ASAP Nast, ASAP Bari, and ASAP Rocky. I don't know what the affiliation there uh, is. I don't know. I, don't I ain't going to lie. A couple of them, like, I don't know. I mean, personally, no, I could go without their music, but that's my personal. I mean, their music, I I mean, ASAP Rocky, I like ASAP Rocky a lot. I listen to a lot of his music, but I don't know, man. They just, they but got they're... like this real feminine, like, I don't know, like they promote a lot of feminine activity, I feel yeah. like, and I don't like that, like. Like they like demasculate that you yeah. like you got a lot of young kids who look up to you and y'all paint y'all finger and I ain't got nothing wrong with that but if you're gay just say you're gay don't promote an image just to promote it and make yeah. it look popular like it's and again it's know. all personal preference but right. there was another thing he said that was not on the clip that we played and it was him saying after he said hey radio fuck you he says I'm on my Trump shit. Um, and I took that as, uh, you know, because Donald Trump is always calling out the media for pushing agendas and not telling the truth. And, um, so when he said I'm on my Trump shit, that I think is what he meant is he was pulling a Donald Trump in terms of calling out, um, you know, fake news, yeah, fake news <laughs> literally. So disinformation, misinformation. Then, um, he said, which I think was in the clip that we played. Sometimes we play politics too much. Fuck being cool. Um, and I think that, you know, typically Hollywood is liberal leaning and we're not going to get into conspiracies th here, but, 
um you know if you don't go with the grain and you go against it you're like blacklisted in hollywood and and they can literally like ruin your lives and your career so i think when he said sometimes we play politics too much fuck being cool he's saying like be real to yourself and 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 you know for your fame and and whatever like don't cave to to the agendas that are being that are being pushed upon everyone right now um and then he says the infamous jay-z call me i know you got killers please don't send them at my head just call me and then everyone you know he i'm gonna say quote unquote he had to check into the mental hospital after that concert everyone his whole team rushed him there and said he had some bipolar break i don't know i don't believe it he actually went on later um in 2016 ish and said that um he believes he he was misdiagnosed with bipolar but that's not we're not going to talk about that at the moment um but everyone just assumed that he's crazy and what he's saying is outlandish and it doesn't make sense and yes the way he said it, he was very animated he i think that you have to take what he says and read between the lines a lot of the time and not take it verbatim rather he's speaking in code kind of and i have a tendency to be able to kind of understand where he what he's saying without him have having to say it for somebody who's not open-minded who may not be able to understand i mean my whole thing was is that it's not like he said he was gonna hurt himself that he wanted to hurt anybody else so why even put him into a mental place you know what i'm saying right. like I'm, because he's speaking on other people you didn't like what he said so now you're gonna say oh Let's make him look crazy. Nothing right. he's saying is true. He can't be, you know, I don't know. Right. And he said, I mean, he did say, like, I'm risking my career. He's risking like, his career. He said, Jay-Z, I know you got killers. Don't send a bad because you know what happens when people speak out, I guess, certain things. I mean, what was it? I forget his name, but I don't know. That's what happens when you speak against the right. go along, get along game. Yep. So that happened, and um, that was, again, November 2016. Uh, reports surfaced in December 2016 that they were having marital issues and that he was hospitalized for this quote-unquote mental breakdown, whatever. Fast forward July 2017, Kim and Ye announced third pregnancy via surrogate, and then January 2018, their third child was born. Um, then in August 2018, so about eight months later, um, they... Public, you know, it was publicly announced that there had been more marital issues um, that had surfaced again because he went on Twitter and he, I guess, had put out controversial comments and bizarre Twitter rants and that caused marital problems. OK, um, Chris Jenner did say, um, you know, that the, the couple were committed to one another and people are not always going to agree with each other forever. You're going to have differences. You're going to have things that pop up. So it seemed like Chris Jenner was kind of supportive regardless of whatever Kanye, whatever happened there. Um, but then October 2018, so two months after that, Pete Davidson, and this is important, obviously, October 2018, Pete Davidson uh, gets on and does an SNL skit making fun of- I don't like Pete. Making fun of his mental health issues, which is actually bizarre to me considering Pete Davidson is like- the poster child for mental health and then you're going to get on snl and make fun of somebody and their mental health issues i just feel like that's really like what type of like what type of advocate like who are you well even to point that out like i mean i guess if you're saying that you could also say that uh didn't he date uh what's her name selena selena no wasn't it ariana grande, ariana grande yeah. right and before that before before he dated Ariana, Mac Miller was dating Ariana Grande, right? Yeah. And how did Mac Miller die? Right. From, you know, he overdosed, I believe, and I don't know. I think he probably had a lot of men mental problems. I think yeah. he even spoke about having mental problems. And it's like, come on, bro. You should be the last person yeah. talking about anybody. Like. So we have to throw that in there in this timeline. Obviously, it's all going to come together. But so that was October 2018. Um Pete goes on and does his SNL skit making fun of Kanye. So then January 2019, the couple's fourth, uh, the couple's announced their fourth pregnancy via surrogate. And then May 2019, their fourth child was born. October 2019, they renewed their vows. 
Um, and then November 2019, Kim, I think it was during Keeping Up with the Kardashians. I don't know. I don't watch it. Um, but I'm pretty sure it was like some type of sh reunion or something. Uh, Kim had made statements that Kanye was becoming more and more strict about what was allowed in their home. And he moved the TVs out of all of the kids' room and even took away North's makeup. So let's talk about it. At that time, North was six years old. So, I mean... I don't know. I don't believe that I would let my six year old have makeup anyway. So yeah. I don't think that that was really crazy of him. Yeah, no. Nah. And I don't believe that taking the TVs out of the bedrooms is crazy either. I, I either I think that's actually him being a responsible parent, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, no. There's nothing wrong with what he did, and I mean, if anybody felt any way of him doing that, oh well, he's the parent. But they did, it. and that's the thing is, of course, Kanye's having another crazy moment. He's taking the TVs out of the rooms. He's taking stuff away from North. Like, things like that, and I feel like the media and social media, too, like, that... But for anybody to care about that, like, y'all need to, 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 to like, reevaluate re your life because that's that's crazy, man. That's a yeah. grown-ass man dealing with his kids. Do you, I'm pretty sure if anybody was, you know, criticizing any, you know any of those people who look at him like a bad person if they were being criticized i don't think they would like that you know yeah. like come on man and that's you know i Shit think that he was up. being responsible but of course people in social media and the news they want to take anything that i mean he is under a microscope and he has been for a long time and anything he does that is there's literally nothing wrong with it they blow it up so big to make him look crazy and it actually drives me nuts because i feel like this kind of like spiraled things into where they're at today mm -hmm. um he's in the limelight um he i mean ev every move he makes is being videotaped or recorded or you know it it's so i think that yeah he can't get away from the press to save his life <laughs> i think that kim even like talking about that was like kind of weird like why was that like conversation worthy like it was just a regular thing like i don't know but that's that. And then uh, July of 2020, Kanye announces his president, his run for president with um, a campaign. That, yeah, his, yeah, with a campaign that he did. And we are going to show a clip of that. Um, but really quick, um, the thing that blew up the Internet, well, one was Kanye was running for president, which I think all of us were like, what the hell? But whatever. I mean, he's got ideas and it is what it is. Anybody can run for president and that's that. But uh, during this um, campaign that he held, um, he got pretty open with everybody and he got pretty emotional and he made claims that the couple allegedly planned to have an abortion for North. Um, I guess there was an inside source uh, that told U.S. Magazine that Kim felt helpless over these comments made by Ye, and her family stated that Ye crossed the line with these negative comments during his campaign. So we're going to watch, like, just a quick clip. Again, I'll put the full video link in the comments, so you or in the description, so you can watch the full thing. Um, but for time purposes, we're just going to show a quick clip. Your voices, actually. So I don't want to say that in an improper way. To word it in the most elegant way possible. So, so that's a Stephen move. When Harriet Tubman, well, Harriet Tubman never actually freed the slaves. She just had the slaves go work for other white people. Y'all, we leave it right now. She said she was pregnant and for one month and two months and three months. We talked about her not having this child. She had the pills in her hand. Do people know these pills? Where you take the pills, and if you take it, it's a wrap. You're talking about Plan B? Yeah. So I was sitting up in Paris. Or no. And I had my leather pants on. Abortion. This is dude. You already know, if you got leather pants on, you already know who this person must think they are. Right? And I'm sitting up in Paris, 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 and i am sitting up in paris i got my shoes i got my i got I got all this. And the screen was black and white. And God said, if you fuck with my vision, I'm going to fuck with yours. Okay, we can stop that there. He said, 
God said, if you fuck with my vision, I'm going to fuck with yours. And I think what he meant by that is if you have an abortion, because a lot of people believe that pregnancy and babies, they're God's gift to earth. And I think what he was saying there was if you have this abortion, like your life is like he truly believed his life would have been over. Which I don't see anything wrong with that. I don't know why people had such a problem. Yeah, they say God creates people yeah. in his image. And he's saying, listen, if you abort my image, forget about all your visions. You see yourself, any uh, anything great you ever see yourself accomplish, forget it. And I just, I can't, He, I feel like he really shared something personal and people made fun of him for that. And they said he was crazy for that. And they, they said... How could he say, talk about his wife's almost abortion? Well, why not? I mean, if you get on TikTok in 2022, there's girls all over TikTok that joke about having abortions and that glorify having abortions. They'll be abortion. throwing abortion parties. Literally. So, like, what having is the cookouts, problem? Cookouts, abortion and, cookouts and shit. And, you know, they say toxic masculinity, but I really feel like feminism, and again, I'm not going to get too deep into this, but... Feminism is in 2022 is very toxic. And, you know, I feel like the way that they were putting this whole situation about this abortion thing, um, it was like men aren't allowed to feel or show emotion. Um, you know, they're not allowed to be humans with feelings. And if you are, you're going to be made fun of and you're going to be canceled and you're going to. So this whole abortion thing, like I, I didn't understand why everyone was so like bugged out about it because it's like. It, it was his child that we're talking about here. Right. So that whole thing kind of like was weird to me. And it again, it's his own personal thing. I just don't understand like why women can go on and joke about it and having abortions. But the second he says that he, you know, they almost aborted their child North and gets emotional and starts crying and they call him crazy because he was affected by that. Yep. Uh, I mean, it makes you wonder like, who'd he piss off around that time, mm -hmm. you know? So, moving on, August 2020, the couple claimed they're in a better place and they are working on their relationship, okay? Um, on October uh, October 2020, Ye got Kim a hologram of Rob Kardashian Sr. for her 40th birthday. The family loved it, said he was the greatest thing walking this earth. It was such a good thing that he did. Okay, anyway, um, January 2021, Kim Kardashian goes public and says she's done with Kanye. Uh, the following month, she filed for divorce. And then two months after that, April 2021, Gay responds to Kim's request for a divorce. And they start discussing the custody arrangements for the four children. Um, so that's just kind of like basic stuff. They were going through that. And then uh, July and August 2021, Kim appeared at Kanye's Donda launch party in Atlanta and the Donda listening party in Chicago. Um, which I don't think is too weird, you know, like they were married or they technically are, were still married at that time. They have kids together and she was being supportive. So that's fine. Right. Um, then in October, Kim paid $23 million for full ownership of the Hidden Hills home that they once shared. Um, and then let's see. Okay. So this is where things start getting crazy after this. Um, November, 2020. 2021, Kim was spotted out multiple times with Pete Davidson, who I'm going to refer to as Skeet Davidson for the rest of the time that we talk about this. That's Kanye's nickname for him, and I absolutely think it's hilarious. So Skeet, Skeet we're Davidson. calling him Skeet Davidson. Skeet, Skeet Davidson. <laughs> so Kim Skeet, was spotted Skeet out Davidson. multiple times with Skeet Davidson. Um, you know, and remember the same Skeet Davidson that uh, did that SNL skit back in 2018, making fun of Kanye's mental health issues, quote unquote. Um, so that was kind of weird. And, you know, I just felt like, well, wow, Kim, you couldn't have picked anybody. You had to pick this man that like publicly humiliated your husband right? and, and made fun of him for millions of viewers online. But OK, um, then December 2021, this is where stuff starts to get crazy. <laughs> and this is where the media just comes in and social media and you can literally say the sky is red and 10 million people will believe you. Indeed. Okay, so um, Kanye did purchase the house across the street from Kim, which everyone thought was so terrible. I don't think it was, I mean, I don't think it was a big deal. You know, they, it, it is what it is. They co-parent together just, just fine from what Kim says. He's a great dad. And um, she I took mean, over I the think, house. I think Kanye is just trying to be funny at this point. You know what I mean? 
Yeah, but I, I don't mean, think... sometimes, yeah. I mean, I don't think he there's any harm into what he's doing. If he wanted to get a house, he can get a house wherever he wants. Right. And I, I mean, everyone was like, oh my God, that's so narcissistic. Like, I thought it was kind of. Now funny. he's <laughs> right across the street, you know what I'm saying? Like, from his kids. Mm-hmm. And then there was. That's this... actually beautiful. Like, especially, like you said, if they can co parent, then what's the problem? Right. And well, then there was this stupid social media post that went viral. Um, I don't remember where it went viral, but. It was a picture of like a fake piece of shrubbery, like a bush. And they were saying that Kanye West like bought this bush costume and was like creeping around like Kim Jar. Oh. Like to try <laughs> and, and everyone believed it. Uh everyone talked about it. Ev- everyone called him crazy and he is abusive and this and it wasn't even true. But this is the power of social media. So this is this is the power of social media. You have everybody just talking about how Kanye's hiding in a bush. And, and one of my favorite YouTubers says this. It's about who who you like. And and it's apparent that they obviously love fucking Kim Kardashian yeah, over Kanye. So. That's what it is. Is they want to believe what what aligns with their beliefs, not with what's true. And that's the problem I think in in today's world is if this is where you align with like you're gonna believe it even if it's true or not like so the whole kanye bush thing was a farce never happened but anyway then kim files um paperwork with the courts to restore her original last name um then january 2022 so just a few months ago um yay was allegedly not invited to chicago's fourth birthday party he went to instagram and then ranted about this a little bit which Okay, I mean, I would be that. That is a weird thing, but and then Ye says that Kylie Jenner and Travis Scott gave him the address to the birthday party and even let him in. So I don't really know what to say about that there, but I mean, I mean, I mean, if if she didn't want him there, I mean, me personally, I'd be like, okay, whatever. I'd throw my own party for my baby when i have her you know what i mean just ha- do it separately i mean i don't i don't know but i guess you know kanye's kanye so <laughs> he said fuck that i'm gonna be here <laughs> y'all gonna see me at- <laughs> <laughs> so then um last month february 2022 kim let's north make a tiktok account of which upset kanye i feel like understandably she's like nine so um, Kanye was really mad about this TikTok account, and then Kim um, allegedly states that because he was upset about this TikTok account, that co-parenting with him is impossible because he had an opinion about this TikTok account for his nine-year-old daughter. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, my nine-year-old daughter is not having no TikTok account. Yeah, not I, I feel like, it. especially in their situation, uh, social media is, is like yeah because yeah i mean their their kids are gonna get followers like that and mm-hmm. it's like and all the comments you have all read. them eyes all them people you don't know in their inbox like that's nah yeah so and then you know comments and i'm sure people are gonna be mean to them or whatever right, so he right. didn't want that kim said that he makes co-parenting impossible so um that's that i mean i don't i don't disagree with him i mean that is a personal thing which, you know, all of Kim's followers kind of agree with her, but that's neither here nor there. I don't agree with Kim in that situation. I agree with Kanye. Yeah. That's his nine-year-old daughter, and he's trying to protect her. Yeah, no, I, I mean, don't He's agree. been in the spotlight for how many years? I don't agree years? with her, but, you know, technically she's not breaking the law, you know? Yeah. Like, as much as we wouldn't do it as parents, is she breaking the law? I mean, I don't right. like it. I wouldn't approve of it, but I'm just trying to look at it from the other side, you know? Right. Right. Like, I don't respect him for that. And I don't see how people could look at Kanye as a bad guy when that's the moral thing to do for your kid is to, like, not expose them to millions, hundreds of thousands of people. And, like, you know, I think the difference let is... Let them be kids. Kim wanted fame, like, her entire life, attention and fame. And I think that Kanye more or less just wanted to get his talent out there. And he just, he wanted to... He wanted to be a rapper. I use that lightly because I, I don't believe he wanted to be a rapper, but he had he has a talent, a really good talent. And I think that for him, it was mainly about, you know, making money and getting his message out there. And that's fine. But I think that Kim loves attention. She loves, you know, being in the spotlight. And 
I think Kanye is the opposite. Like, he does not like the press. He does not like the paparazzi, obviously. We've seen many videos where he's, like, attacking the paparazzi right. who are psycho. But... Right. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Was... Well, so then, um, also last month, then Kanye gets on Instagram um, begging to God to get his family back together, which kind of broke my heart a little bit. Like, you know, I mean, anytime you're in a situation like that, you have kids involved, like, and the one person is moving on and the other one kind of isn't regardless of his like little in between like girlfriends yeah um which i feel like we're just you know him maybe trying to make him jealous right which make it whatever like he's not heartbroken right so know? he gets on instagram begs to get his family back together uh then last month um the judge grant in march of 2022 it's actually this month uh judge grants kim's request to be legally single i don't know what i mean are they divorced i did not i don't know but so the judge makes Kim, quote unquote, legally single amid the ongoing divorce. So I don't know if that means that they're divorced or not. I, it's just legally single. It's well, like I think I think, well, once you sign the divorce papers, it takes a while for them to for it to go through. Right. And, I don't even know if he signed right? them. That's well, the I mean, I'll have to look into that. More. I don't know. Um, so then we're going to uh, we're like here um, now to yesterday. Uh, Kanye gets on Instagram and he posts a cryptic message about his death slash murder. So that was kind of weird to me. I'm going to pull it up right now. It's still there. Um, and you know what I find funny is you get on social media and everyone tells you that Kanye is so hated and stuff. But if you go to his Instagram, there's like a lot of people that like don't really hate him. And I do want to stay too though. Like... <coughs> I don't know if you guys know who uh, Boozy is. You know who Boozy yeah. is, right, Shane? <laughs> He's a rapper for you guys who don't know. And he like made, our 90s he made, babies would know. He gave a great, you know, example. I don't know if you guys know him and Lil Nas X were going back and forth at one point in time. And, you know, he said he was getting a lot of hate on social media from, you know, all... You know, like the LGBTQ community and all his fans and blah, 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 blah. But he said in real life, he said, like, he got nothing but love. Hey, Boozy, keep doing what you're doing. Keep saying what you're saying. We love what you're doing, so on and so forth. So it's like, fuck what people are saying on social media. What are they saying to you when they see you in person? You know what I mean? Are they, you know... I just thought that was like a great example. Like Kanye actually said it, and I don't. I'll have to find this and like and, social media. There's like what? Uh, I mean, I remember Sarah said something about. I forget exactly what it was, but I don't want to get off topic. Go ahead. Um, but Kanye, there's a video. Um, and I'll see if I can find it, and I'll link it in this description too. But Kanye actually says like, people live and die by social media, and whatever is posted on social media, that is their truth. Um, and he went on to say something, but in the real world, it's not that way. And I think it might've been, um, he went on Ellen DeGeneres yeah. and he, I, I just feel like they were like low key, like humiliating him. Like mm -hmm. they weren't just like coming straight out and saying that, like, you're crazy, but like, I'm going to link this and like sneak this. Yeah. Like, this. like, yeah. Like looking at him weird and yeah. like making like weird body movements when he was talking. I just right. feel like low key, like they were being like kind of bullies to him. Yeah. But, and, and again, he's very animated when he speaks and when he talks and, but I'm going to link the Ellen video because I watched that and it kind of made me upset. Um, but he has a Kanye's ideas are so good. And again, you have to kind of read between the lines sometimes with him, but because there's a stigma that he's crazy and he has all these issues, nobody takes what he says seriously. And one example of this is during that um, Ellen interview, um, he says that he was like at a dinner or a meeting with somebody and they're talking about um, like, a, a, I don't know if it's global warming, but something about a green environment, right? Mm -hmm. And Kanye said his idea is has to do with clothes and they looked at him like clothes are not important we're talking about like the environment and he was like but it is important because i remember being in fifth grade and being embarrassed because i was wearing payless right. and all my friends were not oh yeah and he's like so so bullying you know and and the kids and he so he 
finds that this type of stuff is important. Like, he then said he did get in contact with Payless and wanted to do, like, some type of something, like, affordable clothing line for yeah. kids who don't have a lot. And so I think people just, like, he's, he says things, and unless you really want to understand him, you think he's crazy. Right. But, you know, like, he has really good ideas. Yeah, Maybe absolutely. he doesn't articulate that well, but I think that, you know, he he is he's got feelings and he means well and he's just got this stigma that he can't get rid of because of social media and because of the mainstream media and because of the cult following yeah. of the kardashians yeah. yeah you know he definitely uh brought a lot of hate on himself you know showing his support for donald trump i will say that we know how the media loves to you know always fucking criticizing donald so yeah i think that was and that he that said, hurt his image a lot well he says it. with hollywood and every, any fucking body else that's in that go along get along game yeah. well i mean he he did say it too you know he he's speaking truth and about real feelings and he's not just being a puppet right he's speaking his truth so that's it so um that's all that's all that i have for this uh kimye drama but Again, we are the unpopular opinion, so feel free to comment your thoughts, and we would love to have a discussion with you. Yep, thank you guys for being here. Don't forget to go follow me at TPK. The link will be in the description. All right, guys. Thanks. Till next time.